It's the Weekend Sound Jersey. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We're going to break it all down for you here. Let's take a look at our average precipitation throughout the year at Atlantic City International Airport because we have a special weekend on tap here. We are at the top of this chart. August 6th to the 8th is the wettest stretch of the year, not by how often it rains, but by how much rain or precipitation falls when it does at 0.17 inches. But it is the top of a slippery slope because we go way down as we go into September here, pretty much near the minimums by the middle of September. So one of the driest stretch of the year is not too far away. Let's take a look at that weekend scoop. Let's get that ice cream out. Beautiful. All right, here we go. A very comfortable Friday night for us here. That is good news. Keep most of your daytime plans on Saturday. But if you have evening plans, you might want to cancel them or at least bring the rain gear around because we do have a little wave of low pressure system that will move through the region. And then for Sunday, mostly dry, but I will say the later in the day you go, the better it's going to get. The morning's still going to be a little bit shaky here. Outdoor dining forecast for the weekend. Looking great for our Friday night. No complaints there. Saturday is going to be our worst day with that rain. The earlier in the day you go to dinner, the better. I know you probably don't want to go to dinner outside of 4.30, but if you do it then, you have a better chance of being dry than doing it at 7.30. And then for Sunday, the only reason why we don't have the five stars, it could be a little less humid out. Here's a look at our radar for Saturday night to Sunday. Wettest part will be Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Still looking for a shower Sunday morning, but then as we go into the afternoon, we will start drying out and we'll have an easterly wind for the day on Sunday. Rainfall totals will be pretty high in Cape May County. Looks like the Cape May bubble is going on vacation this weekend. Upwards of an inch from Seattle City down to Cape May. The further north and west you go, the drier it will be. And if you're in Hamilton or you're in Philadelphia or you're in the northern half of the state, you could pretty much bank on a dry Saturday into Saturday night here, but the further towards the coast you go and the closer to Cape May you get, the wetter it will be. Taking a look at our Friday night numbers for 65 to 70 everywhere, comfortable evening. Fog develops after 3 a.m. We'll see rain, for, or excuse me, fog for a couple of hours into our Saturday morning, but then after that we have a, we'll say a mix of clouds and sun. More clouds the later in the day you go. 4 to 7 p.m. is when that rain starts. Rain continues into the night. Then as we go into Sunday, season temperatures rain should be out by 8 a.m wouldn't rule out a shower until noon but by and large by eight o'clock we're good here and then slowly clearing out over at the shore it's pretty much the same story here of course going to be a little wetter at the shore than the mainland temperatures staying around seasonable just around 80 degrees now as we look at our on the water forecast for your saturday here's a look at your jersey shore high tide times 7 to 8 a.m in the morning 7 30 to 8 30 p.m during the evening here burn time 30 minutes and that's because of that cloud cover that's why it's a little bit uh, on the longer side than usual for our Sunday here. Wave heights three feet on the ocean for Sunday, one to two at the bay. That's the same for Sunday as well. Wave period five seconds, and that swell is actually coming from the north on our Sunday. As we go into early next week, the jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses, will be to our north. That will allow some warmer and more importantly, more humid air to come our way. Let's take a look at our forecast at dew points. Monday's not bad. Tuesday starts to get sticky, and then as we go into Wednesday, well in the muggy territory that continues right into Thursday and Friday as well. So what does this all mean? Well, let's take a look at our mainland seven day forecast. Monday will be the best day of next week. Now, not to say Tuesday is bad, but it will be humid. If you want to beat the heat, head on over to the beach. We'll see temperatures in the 80s there. We do have that 90 on Wednesday and Thursday on the mainland, but those dew points really creep up as we go into Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday. We are eyeing a relatively large cold front and low pressure system to come through from the west. We'll give you more updates as we go on, but it does look like thunderstorms and even severe weather will be possible as we wrap up the week. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. If you follow me on social media, we have a new episode of the season for you, highlighting the people, places, and events that make summer go round in South Jersey. We were at the pickleball courts in Seattle City. Hope you can tune in for that. And you can also see that on our website where you can find the latest in South Jersey weather at thepressofac.com slash weather.